in Arizona, Texas, and Nevada. Victory runs through Hispanic heavy counties. Daily Caller reporter Jorge Ventura is in Dallas outside of a better O'Rourke uh, rally. Spent the past couple of days down in South Texas along the border talking to Hispanic voters as well. Uh, Jorge, we get that it's loud where you're at. How, talk us through this sort of progression of very, very dedicated Democratic Hispanic voters to becoming Republicans. Yeah, I've been spending time in South Texas speaking to these Latino voters who majority of them are going to be voting Republican uh, for the first time ever. And it comes to no surprise that inflation and economy is really driving those Hispanic voters. Mo majority of Hispanics are working class, middle class, small business owners. So they've been hit very hard by inflation. And when I, when I speak to them about this, they feel that the Democratic Party as of right now doesn't have a message or a plan to solve their economic needs, which is their number one concern. And right behind that, Leland, uh, with these communities near the border would be border security. They feel the Democrats have failed there. Uh, they want a stronger border system. Hispanics are telling me that the illegal immigration is actually really hurting their wages. Um, the second thing here, Leland, really to pay attention to would be the what they say is the family and their social values. They feel the Democratic Party has moved too far to the left. Um, they kind of abandoned church and religion. One voter mentioned to me that hearing Beto O'Rourke actually supporting the transition, the gender transition of children was a huge issue for him and why he's going to be voting uh, Republican. But it's pretty fascinating what's happening right there. And also the GOP and the Republican Party are spending millions of dollars on three congressional races on three Latina uh, candidates running for the Repo Republican Party at the moment. Yeah, I know one of those is Myra Flores, um, who you talked to. What I want to do is, is we've got two sound bites from your interviews uh, with voters, one on inflation, one on the cultural issues. We're going to play them back to back. Take a listen. It used to be 100 bucks. Now it's 200 bucks. You know what I mean? It's doubled, if not more than that. And so we know that these are things that could have been prevented. These are things that, you know, it's, we know that these are because of policies that were put in by people that, that do not have our best interests in mind. The progressive and woke ideology that uh, teaching children about uh, their sexuality in public schools is okay. That doesn't fly with people down here. They, you know, that they're people here are very conservative uh, and traditional when it comes to uh, sexual education or just like sexuality with with you know in in those age groups. Now you said a majority are now voting for Republicans. Um, Hispanic voters poll, if the congressional elections were held today, which candidate would you support? 63% Democrat, 36% Republican. Obviously, in border communities, that could change a little bit. Historically, right, and, and you would think about this in, in communities South Texas that have been Democrat for 100 years, a lot of Hispanics voted uh, for Democrats because they believed in more permissive immigration policies. Now you're saying that they, they want a more secure border. Those... The, the Hispanics wanting more secure voters, to, to some people, might be a little confusing. Put that together for us. The, 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 the reasons why the Latino voters down there are saying they want the secure border, number one, it's a huge crime issue. So uh, down there in Eagle Pass and Del Rio and Kinney County, they've been hit hard with these teenagers, human smuggling, and the, the crime rate has, has gone up for those communities. The other is um, the impact to their wages. They say that the huge influx of illegal immigration actually hurts their uh, workers and the illegal migrants. Now, another kind of key thing here issue is with Myra Flores is her messaging, which I think has connected with Latino voters who have voted Democrat and are kind of stuck in the middle. You know, one thing that she says is, hey, I'm not even loyal to the Republican Party. I'm loyal to God and family. And it seems, Leland, that message is really winning a lot of those Hispanics who are more down the middle. Um, just, you know, just a couple of days ago, Myra was actually campaigning with Tulsi Gabbard, as, as many of you know that Tulsi has announced that she's left the Democratic Party, which from a strategy standpoint, Leland, you can see that she, she's campaigning with Tulsi because she's not too far to the right. She's kind of down the middle. She's a little to the left where you can kind of bring in those down the middle Democrat voters that you're going to need to win that election, especially in South Texas. It's been a Democratic stronghold for years. I mean, the, the seat that Myra Flores won was a Democrat seat for over 100 years. Yeah, and, and now it's been redistricted again, and we've got this special election. Now, there's one of the things we're going to be watching uh, very closely on election night. Uh, Jorge, thank you very much. As always, we appreciate it. It's good to see you. Keep up the great work. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.